Hello, Sierra community. First, I want to thank you so much for all the input you've given the last week or so. Over our five community forums for input, as well as the survey, we are getting really good information from you that's helping us make better decisions, the best possible decisions for the students in our community. A strength of our community by so much is our diversity, the diversity of geography, the diversity of our student body, the diversity of our ethnicities, the diversity of ideas that helps us really design and try to work to the individual student. Being small should have its advantages. To that end, we heard three things from you really clearly. One is, you asked that we exhaust every possibility to try and get students to school five days a week. That the hardship of being two days on, three days off, particularly for families that have two parents working, is, is really severe. And if it's possible to get students five days a week, we should try to do that every possible way. The second was that because we are a small community, there be, should be some unique opportunities for us. And are we exhausting all of those? And that was an excellent question. And finally, we heard you say, we want you to exhaust all possibilities, but we also need to know what the plan is so you as parents can plan for August. So to that end, we are making some adjustments. The other thing is, on a regular basis, things unfold related to guidance related to COVID-19 from the Fresno County Department of Health as well as the state. And those begin to shift as well. An example of that is on Thursday, we were advised that when it comes to buses, families who live together and students who already are commingling can sit together on the bus with masks. That changes things a great deal in terms of our busing capacity. More significantly, given that we see the uh, need to try and get students to campus five days a week, and also the number of parents that are beginning to say that you would want a virtual option regardless, we decided on Thursday, Friday, and today to walk the campuses and see how many students we could get. And is it possible to have a plan that provides physically physical distance, meets the guidelines of the county, and gets students together at the schools five days a week? From walking the campuses with, with administrators and looking at it, we believe that is realistic. And therefore, tonight, we are moving forward with uh, working on a plan to have students come to our schools five days a week beginning in August still have measures such as uh, verbal screenings before students arrive on campus, physical distancing at campus, keeping students in cohorts, and other measures. The details of which will be in a final plan that will be ready for you on June 30, so that you're able to then, in the month of July, make the decision that's best for your family about doing education at home, doing a virtual option with, with class, or coming to school five days a week. The five days a week will not look like it did on March 10th. There will be physical distancing. Recess won't, won't look the same. But our teams at our school sites, along with collaboration from parents, community members, and students, will help come up with the best possible options for our students given those guidelines. Mostly, one more time, thank you so much for engaging with us and helping us learn and process and work to be better for every single student and meet the needs of our community. We look forward to your questions. We will do forums again before our final uh, production of it, and we will continue the dialogue going as we move through all this process into the fall. It's unique times, but we're a unique district, and I think small is an advantage. And for us, we believe it gives us the opportunity to be a district that can provide schooling five days a week beginning in August. Thank you. Continue to ask your questions, and thanks for always striving to be your Sierra Best.